it seems to me like what they're trying to do is not only usurp the power of this one president, but of all presidents. It's like they're trying to remove Article 2 yeah. from our Constitution so that you have a legislator that only exists as a rubber stamp for money. Yeah. Um, you have a judiciary that, of course, they're, you know, they, they're very upset that we've taken the judiciary from them. They're trying to reform it and repack it and do whatever they can. But they want the bureaucracy, the permanent administrative state, to be the actual uh, vessel driving policy and driving decisions in the United States and eliminate the power. I mean, you look, you look at the current president. This guy doesn't seem like he's making any decisions on his own. They want power for themselves. Uh, listen, there's a big question. Have we created a fourth branch of government called the bureaucracy? And mm. I think the last uh, six years of history, it raised some very serious questions about that. But if you're a former president, or if you're, if you're a person thinking of running for president in the future, what Joe Biden did just created a, an enormous threat to your ability to get candid advice. Because what we now have, the Biden precedent for this is, you can beat the guy in office, and then you can go leak his documents. You can go put him out there and just get rid of the privilege that's there. So think about the next Republican president. The next Republican president can go back and say, that executive privilege that Barack Obama claimed over Fast and Furious, uh, gone. Benghazi. Benghazi. Exactly. There's a really important one, Benghazi. Uh, Joe Biden's executive privilege over what he was doing with Hunter Biden in the White House in Ukraine, gone. We can see all that. Oh, what the National Security Council was debating about setting up Trump for the Ukraine impeachment. No, no privilege, gone. The next Republican president can do to the de this dem Democratic president what they've just done to Donald Trump. Alan Dershowitz, lifelong Democrat, voted for Biden, liberal Harvard law professor, says this is a grave threat to the presidency. It makes executive privilege meaningless if the Biden standard lives on.